Hello folks, uh, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I hope you are well. Today we are attempting another MVK tries. This is homemade chocolate eclairs. Oh, that's right, and not just any chocolate eclairs. You guys know Paul Hollywood, hopefully you do. The Silver Fox from the Great British Bake Off here in the UK, and I think there was an American version. I think he went over there and did some cooking show. In fact, on the topic of the Great British Bake Off, a lot of you guys say to me that I should apply for that. There is a story there. I might have been asked once. And by all means, I'm not a master baker anyway, and that's why we're doing chocolate eclairs by the legend that is uh, Mr. Hollywood. Just like the lemon macarons I made the other day, there's something about eclairs, just like macarons, that actually just kind of scares me. There's a lot that can go wrong. I think it's the whole pipe and bag thing, but as always, we're gonna venture and smash this out. It is a BBC food recipe, so I'll link uh, to that below with all the ingredients and bits and bobs. Hopefully we can do this justice. All right, so I'm just getting prepared really, first of all. Uh, this is one large egg, two large eggs. Just beating those together. And remember, if you haven't seen the MVK Tries playlist, we've already done some amazing recipes from Alton Brown, Nigella Lawson, Heston Blumenthal, to name just a few. So if there's any recipes you're thinking, Barry, I'd love to see you try this. I wanna do a croque and bouche. Who does the best croque and bouche? Let me know and I'll, I'll try that. But anything like that you wanna see me take on, I'd love to see it. Just realised my seal pack doesn't actually fit my baking tray. That's better. None of you guys have actually mentioned that before, so there we go. Uh, seal pack, rather than greaseproof paper, apparently we just need to line that and then we dust this with plain flour, sprinkled like flour on this. I don't know why. 65 grams of flour. Just, I'm gonna scatter it around. Feed the birds tuppence a bag. Okay, this feels strange. I don't know why I've never done this before. Part of me feels like I've completely read that wrong. Preheat the oven to 200C. All right, so that's 180C fan. Sift the flour onto a sheet of greaseproof paper. It does say that. I just feel like I've made a snow scene from Narnia or something. No. Put 120 mils of water into a medium sized pan, salt and butter. All right, let's do this. We're gonna make the dough now. All right, so it says to add the butter in diced, but I think we're gonna warm it anyway. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, break it into quarters. There we go. I don't know if that's really essential, like I say. Pinch of salt. And this is 120 mils of water. I've just read ahead. We're gonna put this mixture onto heat and then once we, uh, we don't want it to evaporate, but once we get it to boiling, we quickly dump in the flour. We can still do it with that, we'll be fine. And then we beat it furiously. Beat it! All right, so like a medium low heat, nice. So heat gently until the butter has completely melted and don't let the water boil and begin to evaporate. Quickly bring the mixture to the boil and tip in all the flour in one go. All right, so that's nice and melted through. I like how it says don't let the water boil and then the next step is quickly bring the mixture to the boil and tip the flour all in one go. Oh, my oven's ready as well. So we're gonna crank the heat up and the minute this hits a boil, we'll dump the flour in, beat it with the heat off. I assume that's gonna cook the flour so I've got to watch this like a hawk. Flour in. Ooh. That's all of it. Take it off the heat and beat it. All right. Got to beat it quite vigorously, actually. Oh, I've just realized you're completely steamed up, so I don't know how much of this you've seen. There we go. Check that out. I'm happy with this. All right, next step apparently is to put it back on the heat for just a minute or two, just to cook through that dough. And so then it should all apparently come together as one glossy ball. All right, so now we take this off the heat and put it into a mixing bowl. <laughs> like that. Leave to cool until tepid. What does tepid mean? Especially of a liquid, only slightly warm, lukewarm. Lukewarm. I just put lukewarm. Come on, Paul, help me out, mate. So. I'm gonna add like maybe a quarter of the beaten egg at a time and just mix it through. It's gonna get a bit messy, a bit sloppy, guys. That egg is definitely not scrambling though, that's the good thing. When you chuck it in, first of all, it feels like it, you've just kind of chucked water on it and it's not gonna bond, but it does absorb in eventually. So this is my third quarter of it. Doo -doo -doo. 
All right, still not quite there. So I'm gonna add in just almost all of it. I've just left a, a smidgen of it left, like a teaspoon still in there. And I think this will be enough. Yeah, it goes all wet like this at first, but in a minute, it will just bond in there. And you can do this step with an electric whisk as well, apparently, but I've opted not to. I just want to get it nice and smooth. I'm actually really happy with that. Really nice and smooth. Yeah. So just like the other day with the macarons, everyone's going, oh, I don't like macarons, I like macaroons. I've done those on the channel. Search macaroons, really easy. I'm gonna pour that shoe pastry mix. Oh yeah. I remember when I first got told this tip, it saved me so much mess. I used to try and half open it. If you watch some old videos, I used to literally try and open the bag with one hand and push it in, but this works. And this is like the hardest step, people. If we can get this pastry bit right, the, the filling and the topping, that's the fun bit, that's, that's the good stuff. If we can just nail this, then life is good. Got quite a wide nozzle on that, see that? Oh yeah. Whilst I was waiting for my mixture to go uh, tepid, I uh, just gave the old uh, baking sheet a clean. So I'm doing some quite thick piping lines, and that <laughs> that's not straight at all. I'm going to carry on. I don't care. That's straight. <laughs> My piping wasn't very good today, but I'm keeping it real. All right. Well, I mean, look at this one. I don't know the angle I was doing on that. I've tidied them up a little bit with some kitchen towel. You guys, this is why I do this. The whole, I'm just keeping it real, all right? Like yours will look better than mine and that's the whole reason I do this. I've got some water here and we're just gonna flick a little bit of it on the baking sheet, just little splatters, but not apparently on the dough. And I know why we do this because it actually helps to steam uh, the shoe pastry as well. And that goes water beads and all. I'm really excited and also scared. If this fails, right, I'm gonna make another batch. They're going in there for 15 minutes at that warmer temperature. Whatever you do, do not open the oven, okay? And at 15 minutes, apparently then we lower the temperature to 170C, which is 150C fan gas mark three for 10 minutes. So don't open that door. I think that will just warm it through and then we'll do stuff with it. So see in about 15, the lower the temp and then that's it. I just prayed it works. All right, we've got three minutes to go, but I've just had a sneaky peek. I've got to show you, because I'm excited. Look. Can you see in there? I don't think you can see too well, but whatever you do, don't open the oven, they're rising. All right, so that's my 15 minutes. I'm taking it down to 150C. <laughs> so that's been 10 minutes at that lower temperature. We're going to bring them out and make a very quick incision in it and then put it back in so that allow the steam to come out but hopefully it's for it to bake and crisp up and leave that shape. Ooh. So I'm gonna be quick, just a little incision in the sides. Wow. And then straight back in the oven. I realized I didn't really capture that very well. I'm at, ah, that's hot. <laughs> I'm actually really excited though. I think this is gonna work. Yes. All right, I am blooming happy with them and they're not going down, they're firm and crisp inside. They're, if if it's sagged and you turned it into some sort of like shoe sole, shoe sole, no pun intended, it ain't gonna work. Gotta get that crispness. So you can just see them cooling out a shot a little bit. This is a bowl of uh, some uh, double cream. Just gonna whisk it up. All right, so that's lightly thickened. A bit of extract and the icing sugar. I'm just doing this by eye. I know I've done the tricky part of this recipe now. I'm just gonna, the cream's gonna be good, baby. That'll do. We've got to pipe that in now. Transferred the cream to a piping bag, same technique as before. And I'm just melting some chocolate on 30 second blasts in a mixing bowl. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy this is working that um, I just want to drink this right now, but this pipe, the eclairs. So I'll just show you with one of them. I'm gonna just take my knife, make an incision right in there. Kind of create like a little kangaroo pouch. And then all I'm gonna do is just fill it with the cream. Fill that void, Oi! completely up, it's moving round. 
So that is completely loaded and all we do now, I'm gonna bring the wire rack in for this, is just sort of sit it, do, 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 try and get a nice even layer of it, into that melted chocolate. See that? I'll just sit, it, sit there and set on the wire rack, just like this. Oh, ho, ho. looks like a little boat. Do, 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 do. Leave it and repeat. Here we go, boom. Ah, oh. so I've just whacked them in the fridge. They could probably do with a teeny bit longer in there, but I'm so happy with how these have turned out. Mmm, mmm, oh my God. Mmm, mmm, mmm. High five me. High five your screen right now. Boom. I better put those out of the way, but full credit to Paul Hollywood uh, for this recipe. Don't forget to check out the other ones on the MBK Tries playlist. And of course, challenge me, give me some ones to try out. Subscribe for regular videos and press the bell button to be notified of all new uploads. And that's about it. I'll see you next time. Bye.